where will you be in your business and your life in 36 months? Not because you hope, because you decide. Everyone in this room knows how to create. You're not a manager of your life. You're a creator of your life or you wouldn't be in this room. How do you create your life? You get hungry for something, don't you? Who has done something in your life that once seemed difficult or impossible and now it's part of your life? Who's got something in your life in this area? Say I. How did you do it? You created it three ways. Number one, you decided there's something you wanted so bad that you unleashed all your desire. You became obsessed with it. If it was a business or a car or a relationship or a transformation in your body, if there's something you once envisioned and now it's real, it's because you didn't just envision it, you brought so much emotion to it that now it's in your life. It was once a dream, it was once a goal, and now it's in your life. How many have something like that in your life now? Say I. You may take it for granted now, hopefully not, but it was once just a vision. It may have seemed impossible at one time, so how did you do it? You started with a concrete vision of what you wanted, and you focused on it continuously, didn't you? Wherever focus goes, energy flows. You envisioned something, you got clear about it, and then you started thinking about all the reasons why you wanted it. You got excited about it. You said, this is what's next for me now. I want this. You may have dreamed about it, thought about it, talked about it. But when you focus on something continuously, something magical happens. You get insights, don't you? You overhear a conversation and you hear something you wouldn't have heard if you didn't have that outcome or goal that you wanted so badly. Who's ever come up with something, obsessed about it, didn't even know how to do it, and it just happened and it came together? Who's had that experience? Say, I. So why don't we tap into that power now for your business and life?